Will I be investing in Lego Star Wars Battle Packs this year? That's a question that I always get from the community because Battle Packs, of course, are popular amongst Lego collectors and investors. And just a couple days ago, I made a video where I walked through the history of Battle Packs. What are some of the value increases that we've seen on this theme? What are some of the return on investments that you could have gotten if you invested in Star Wars Battle Packs a couple of years ago? So if you want to see the history and what is possible with the prices, definitely go and check out that previous video. I'll link to it in the description down below. But here, I want to talk about the currently available battle packs, the ones that are still in retail stores today, and whether or not I will be investing in any of them as a Lego investor, because that's what I do, of course. I have a business where I invest in Lego sets and hold them while values go up over time. Now, just to set the stage here, a quick spoiler on my previous video is that battle packs can be really good performers as an investment in general. We do see prices go up over time. We do see profits and positive return on investments if you invest in battle packs. However, sometimes the hold time can be a couple of years and it's not always a theme that you can easily buy and then sell within six to 12 months which is what I like to do in my Lego investing business a lot of the times with the battle packs the price can go flat for a while and the reason that can happen is because there's a lot of supply out there there are a lot of other Lego investors who are buying these battle packs and the supply in the aftermarket can be quite strong Likewise, with the demand, there is a lot of demand out there, but there are also other battle pack sets that some of that demand can go to. So if you're a Lego fan who wants to build an army, you could have an option of different clone troopers that you want to buy, or, or maybe you even want to build a stormtrooper army. And there are different options out there, and it can lead to a lot of different substitutes, a lot of different options for fans of battle packs to go to, especially since this is a theme that has been going for a long, long time. So there are a lot of old sets out there that people might want to go and collect. That can take a little bit of the demand away from the one you might be thinking about investing in in the aftermarket. So although I do think demand on most of these sets is sustained long into the future, it can be cannibalized by future releases that are a little bit similar to the one you might be investing in. So these are some considerations when we're thinking about investing in battle packs. But that said, yes, they do go up in value a lot of the time. And yes, you can make strong return on investments, in some cases, very, very strong return on investments by investing in battle packs now am i going to be investing in any this year let's find out so first we're going to jump in and just quickly chat about the four battle packs that are available today in retail stores the first one we're going to see here is 332nd ahsoka's clone trooper so this is a clone trooper battle pack we've seen many of them over the years as i walked through in my previous video um, but this is the currently available clone trooper battle pack 332nd legion uh, it is set number 75359 108 pieces obviously the main event here is the four clone troopers that's why we buy battle packs and i love these clone troopers i love the design i love the combination between the blue and orange and i think it's a little little bit more kind of unique to some of the clone trooper battle packs we've seen over the last couple of years um, this set was released in august 2023 and it will be retiring this year in 2024 and so it by the time it retires it's going to have a shelf life of around a year and a half uh, four different minifigures and all of them are unique to this set we have clone captain vaughn and then we have one copy of this clone trooper and then two copies of this other clone trooper right here now also worth mentioning here is the price because of course this is a $20 MSRP now in the past we've seen a lot of the battle packs sell for $15 in the last couple of years it has increased to 20 I do wish that we still had these at the $15 purchase price uh, because of that $20 purchase price we see a price per piece here of 18 and a half cents in a little bit on the higher side but of course whenever we have a set that depicts minifigures or centered around minifigures we do expect the price for piece to be a little bit higher because it's higher value parts uh, however that is much higher than what we used to see for battle packs that were similar the uh, build that comes with this uh, you know i don't think much of it but obviously with battle packs that's not why we're buying it so it doesn't really matter to me all that much um, what you get inside the box here in terms of the pieces. So 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Trooper Battle Pack is retiring this year. And in a few moments, I'll talk about whether or not I'm going to be investing uh, in this set. Uh, but we also have some other battle packs that are also still available in retail stores today, such as Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. This is 75372. And you get a lot in this box right here. Uh, this is a jam-packed battle pack. It is a $30 set, 75372. And if you just look at what's included in the box here, we have two of the prequel trilogy droids. We have a clone shock trooper. We have three clone troopers phase two. And then we have three super battle droids all in a single 
battle pack. Now I know it's a higher price. It's a $30 set right here, but we're talking about nine different minifigures here. If you're counting these droids as minifigures, which I kind of do, uh, that's a lot for a battle pack, right? That is over double what you're getting in most battle packs here. So we're talking about pretty good value in this box. Uh, the price per piece is 13.9 cents because the purchase price, of course, is $30. Um, and seven of those minifigures are also unique, important to call out. Now, this is a new set. This was released in January of 2024. It has not even been on the shelves for six months right now. So it is not going to be retiring this year. Um, as of the latest information, at least, there is no plan to retire this in 2024. I only buy retiring sets as part of my Lego investing business and so for that reason I will not be investing in clone trooper and battle droid battle pack this year what about 501st clone troopers battle pack so this is yet another clone trooper battle pack this is the third one currently available in, sh in stores that is featuring clone troopers and 501st legion we've had in the past again in my previous video i showed the performance of that another spoiler it was a very very strong performing lego set the previous 501st legion uh, set was a really really good investment and i invested in them i did quite well on them uh, but this one 501st clone troopers is a lower priced version just 20 dollars. the previous version came with some droids as well uh, but this is just four clone troopers in the box twenty dollars it is set number seven five three four five 119 pieces and if you just look at the clone troopers that we get in here we get two of the heavy trooper uh, phase two and then we get uh clone trooper officer and then we get clone trooper specialist in the box here it is a twenty dollar set so the same price as the ahsoka 332nd and this was released in january of 2023 now this set was scheduled to retire this year in 2024 however it has been pushed out so as of the latest information this set will not be retiring this year in 2024 and it will instead be moved into the following year for a 2025 retirement for that reason I will not be investing in it this year. So whenever I see retirements getting pushed out, for me, that is just an immediate note. I will not invest in the set. I don't want to hold it for that extra year uh, before it retires. And so for me, this is definitely a no for investing this year. But I do like the set. And again, I did quite well on the previous 501st Legion um, as an investment. And then the fourth currently available battle pack that we have in stores today is the ambush on mandalore so this is another mandalorian focused battle pack we've had some of those in the past uh 75373 with 109 pieces 20 dollar purchase price and uh you get four different minifigs in the box here brick set has not yet made the kind of breakout of the exact minifigs uh, because this is a brand new set this was released in june 2024 so it's literally a week old as of recording right now a brand new set 109 pieces and a 20 dollar purchase price so again since this is so new it's not one that i'm considering for investing so all we've seen here is one set that is retiring this year in 2024 the other three that are currently available in retail stores right now are not retiring this year so the one that is an option for me to invest in is of course 332nd ahsoka's clone trooper battle pack so will I go ahead and invest in this set? There are a couple of considerations that I have when I think about investing in this set. And one of the first ones is people are buying this set to build armies. They're buying it because they want a lot of minifigures. And when people are building clone trooper armies, one thing that I've always noticed when you look at pictures of clone trooper armies is that a lot of the times clone trooper army builders want different variants and different lesions of clone troopers to go in their army so if you just look at this image here you're going to see all these different colors um, of different types of clone troopers and different legions that they've put into their army and as you just click through images and videos of clone trooper armies you're going to notice the same thing we have this beautiful kind of depiction of the orange and the blue and the white and the green and this is just the best way to build a clone trooper army is to have multiple different variants to make it more interesting and add extra depth to your clone trooper army. And so if you are concerned about the fact that there are currently multiple different clone trooper battle packs on the shelves, why would someone wanna pay an inflated price for 332nd after it retires because they could just go and buy 501st instead because this one will still be available in stores then you do need to consider the fact that clone trooper army builders may want both of these. They may complement each other because if I'm a clone trooper army builder, I want some blue troopers and orange troopers. I want 501st Legion and 332nd Legion. And so these are some considerations that I have. 
However, I also see the hesitation because it is definitely true that not everyone who buys these clone troopers is buying them to build a massive army. Some people just want a handful of clone troopers. And if we want the value of 332nd to go up over time, this is gonna retire at the end of 2024. And six months later, if we wanna see that this set is selling for 30, $35 on Amazon, we need to consider the fact that some people who may be going to buy this clone trooper battle pack for $35 would simply just instead buy the 501st clone trooper when they are available at retail or at a discounted price, such as $15, $16, whenever it goes 20% off. It's important to realize that some of the demand for the Ahsoka's Clone Trooper will go to 501st because it is still available at retail prices. So that could slow down the demand a little bit, which could slow down the price growth. Likewise, the supply is possibly going to be high on the 332nd Ahsoka's uh, Clone Trooper Battle Pack this year because it's the only one retiring. It's possible that a lot of LEGO investors who are excited about Battle Packs dive in on this one and therefore we have a little bit high supply on it. And because some of the demand goes over to the other Clone Trooper Battle Packs, then it's possible that this one doesn't have as good of a return on investment as we might have hoped. So those are some things that cross my mind when I'm thinking about investing in this set. There are some things that I really like about this set. Like I said, I love the design of it. I love the kind of color scheme and what you get. I think it's likely that Ahsoka's clone troopers become more and more prominent as well. Um, and there's more, they're more kind of sought after over time. But again, I do have hesitations with the availability of substitutes out there, the availability of other similar sets out there that may cannibalize on some of that demand. But it is important for me to mention as well that even if some of the demand shifts to other sets, the overall sales volume of battle pack sets is incredible. These are sets that can sell like crazy. Often some of the best selling Star Wars sets out there are battle packs. And so will these sell in retirement? Absolutely they will. I have no doubt about that. They're gonna to continue to sell. They are going to have sustained demand into the future. My question is, will they perform at the level that I'm looking for or would I be better off investing in a different Lego set? Now, I've got a special guest here who's gonna rudely interrupt me for a moment and share his thoughts about Ahsoka's 332nd Clone Troopers. Hey Shane, Kevin here from KDX Bricks and now it's my turn to interrupt one of your videos and talking about the Ahsoka Clone Trooper Battle Pack. I like it a fair amount. I have three reasons that I'm high on it. Number one is pretty much all previous battle packs with Clone Trooper and the set name have performed very well. My second reason is these Clone Trooper minifigures really stand out, especially with the orange face. But when you look at them in a lineup of other Clone Troopers, they fit in really well. So it's a nice give and take. And then my last reason is because Ahsoka's story arc is just getting started. Season two of her series has been confirmed, and it sounds like she's going to have a prominent role in the Mandoverse movie that's coming out, I think, in 2026. And the intent behind that movie is to tie together the Mandalorian, the Book of Boba Fett, and the Ahsoka shows into one mashed together storyline, which I think will be really cool and can drive the desirability of this set. But with all that said, I'm not crazy enthusiastic about these battle packs. I'm not nearly in love with them as much as DG Bricks is. At this point, I think it's blind love for him. No, I'm kidding. But I do have some concerns. Number one, there are three Clone Trooper battle packs on the market right now. I'm concerned that there might be too much supply of Clone Trooper minifigures once all these sets retire. And I wonder if we might get some Clone Trooper battle pack fatigue right when all of these would be primed for selling on the secondary market, which could drive the price down. And also I'm concerned because this set has the lowest sales velocity of the three on Amazon, and this is the only one that is expected to retire at the end of this year. Well, those are my thoughts on this set, everyone. Thanks a lot, Shane, for letting me jump in for a minute, and I look forward to doing it again sometime. All right, thank you, Kevin from KDX Bricks for sharing his thoughts here. And as you can see, a lot of it kind of aligns with my thoughts as well. What about DG Bricks? David, what do you think about the 332nd Ahsoka's Clone Troopers as an investment? What's up, you guys? David here from DG Bricks. I also have some strong thoughts about LEGO Star Wars Battle Packs. And so if we look at this list of Clone Troopers throughout the ages, we can see a huge range in prices, some of them worth as much as $95. Some of the more common ones from the 501st pack that just retired for $6. From the recent advent calendar and the Clone Command Station, we have $5 and change. And then a mix of troopers from the presently available Battle Packs for $2 to $3. But what I'm seeing from this list is basically that the price of any particular clone 
Clone Trooper variant depends mainly on the price point of the set that it appeared in, and of course how many appeared in that set. So here in this list we can see the original 332nd Trooper from the AAT set is around $13 these days, I've seen it much higher. The newer version with the helmet hole, and actually coming with a nice blue jetpack, is $3.09 as of today. I would expect the values on all these troopers to begin to increase as soon as these sets dry up from major retailers, and with it the prices of the sets that they appear in. I was a LEGO Star Wars fan 20 years ago, and I remember that even back then, YouTubers were obsessed with building their clone armies. I don't think this is going away, I think it's the most popular faction of all the Star Wars factions to build with, and that is evidenced by the prices of the battle packs. With amazing sets like the ATTE, the Coruscant Guard Gunship, all of the battle packs, the 501st battle pack, the first one from three years ago, we've had such good clone army building sets, Republic fighter tanks as well, in the last couple of years. I would expect at some point LEGO's going to drop the ball and this is going to dry up somewhat, and when they do, that's an opportunity for LEGO investors like you and me. Back to you, Shane. And there you have it, folks, some valuable thoughts about whether or not this will be a really good investment this year. Uh, what is my decision? My personal decision is I'm unlikely to invest in this set. I'm not saying no for sure, because I will be monitoring it throughout the year. I'll be watching to see what happens with the supply and demand. I'll be watching to see what prices I may be able to get it for. If I can get a significant discount, then yes, I will likely invest in it. I have invested in multiple battle packs in the past. I've always done pretty well on them. Um, and so I do want to continue investing in battle packs, but I just have some reservations about this one. So right now I am unlikely to buy it, but that could of course change throughout this year. And if you want to learn more about exactly how I pick my Lego investments and how I build my business, I actually wrote an entire book about that. So it's called Winning Set Secrets. And this is my playbook for building a Lego investing business and I also give it for free for those who test drive my Inner Circle program. So you can get a link down below if you want to go ahead and get your copy of Winning Set Secrets. Uh, I think that will be a massive help for you if you are building a LEGO investing business and getting started with picking LEGO investments. So that link will be in the description down below and I hope you found this useful. I hope this was enjoyable to you and with that, thank you so much for being here. I'm Shane from BrickBucks.net and make this your year to lift off and be free.